In our hashtag with Galaxy series with Samsung, we've gone through a bunch of different ways to produce videos on your S10 or Note 10. If you've missed any of these, and to this point, they're extremely comprehensive when it comes to editing, filming, or producing on mobile, especially for YouTube, make sure that you check out the cards in this video above here. All the links in the description to catch up. It's probably the most comprehensive series of videos that I've seen on YouTube on how to make video on your phone. So make sure that you check that out and make sure that you subscribe because we've got a whole bunch more of this content coming up with hashtag with Galaxy. Okay, the one thing that we haven't gotten into, unfortunately, until this point is music production. We're getting into that now. Of course, there's artist.io and Epidemic Sound for content creators. And that's kind of what we've been using to create videos to this point. If you guys have watched any of the vlogs that we've been doing on the mobile device. But what if your Note 10 could help you create your own music? Spoiler alert, it can. And there's a lot of apps that can help you with it. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a variety of these apps that allow you to produce music on your phone. And then I'm going to introduce you to X Dizzle, a professional South African musician and content creator that focuses on making content around music production and has dabbled in mobile music production. And he's going to show you how to kind of lay your first bed down, make sure that you've got your basics and it's super quick. You're going to know how to you at the end of this video, you're going to be able to make your own track. It's as essential as that. I'm going to include all of his links in the description below. So make sure that you go give him a follow. He's an amazing guy and he's incredibly knowledgeable. He blew my mind. Okay, but first let's get into the apps. The first one is N-Track Studio Music Door. Now N-Track is one of the most comprehensive music production apps that is free to download. You can create many different audio leads and drum tracks without any in-app purchases. You even get 11 tracks of audio that you can lay down, a vocal tune for your voice and the ability to record through an external recording device. That's great if you are a professional musician and you've got the kit. The second one is a rhyme dictionary. Now if you're a songwriter and you need lyrics to put down, sometimes you need a little bit of inspiration. Rhyming Dictionary is an app that helps you string together smarter lyrics to your songs that actually rhyme. This is great if you're writing an intro song or a theme song for your channel and includes loads of different rhyme schemes, including phonemes and word hyphenations. Sometimes you want a whole chunk of something to rhyme. It'll make you look a whole lot more smarter and talented and you can include it with pretty much any kind of content that uh, content creators are doing. If you want to do like a parody song, if you want to do like a theme tune for your channel, it's super cool. And it really just makes writing songs so much easier. The next one is FL Studio. FL Studio is an industry leading music production app that has a pretty hefty price tag of 99 Rand. If you're a seasoned musician or just simply want to take advantage of learning one of the industry's best music production tools, 99 Rand might not seem like a lot. It's pretty much a fully fledged piece of software that works on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10. That's amazing with the stylus. You can create and export polished tracks from your device. Like uh, literally you can lay them down and loop them and export them. It's mind blowing. Xdizzle is going to show you a little bit more about it, but like it just, the Note 10 continues to impress me every time we do something with it. And lastly, drum pad machine. A lot of electronic music is created using drum machines and drum pad machine on the Google app store allows you to use this popular means of music production to finesse your own tracks. Drum machines are great if you don't know how to read music and you want to make something simple and catchy. I like to use them to lay down the basics of a track and then flesh it out in something like FL Studio because you can export your songs. Again, you're the master of your destiny with your phone the musical master of your destiny. Surprise, I'm not a musician, so I gave Xdizzle a call to find out if he can teach us the 101 on how to make a track as quickly and as simply as possible. All these techniques that he's about to show you, it blew my mind by the way, so you stay tuned for this, can be done in pretty much any one of the apps. It's the principles uh, behind it. And Xdizzle in this video will be producing it on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and using the stylus just for that extra, the extra finesse. Check us out. Hey, thanks Grant. My name is X Dizzle. So I'm a music producer and I produce on mobile and there's a lot of software you can get on the mobile phone that you can use to produce your own music like FL Studio and there's a lot of other free ones you can get as well right now. So let's jump into FL Studio and let me show you how you can make your own music. So first thing we want to do is uh, make sure that we get our tempo straight in our project. So the tempo is what's called the BPM that's beats per minute. So right now it's on 120. So you have to make a decision of what you want to, you know, your beat to be if you want it to be fast or slow. If you're looking for something a little bit lo-fi or something a bit housey like up tempo, then you can leave it to 120. But I'm going to start by making something real nice and lo-fi, nice and slow. So I'm just going to tap here and I'm just going to tap 
the type of beat that I want to put on. So here it picked um, 97. So then that's fine. And then I'm just going to go here on plus so I can add an instrument. You can see here it says instruments. I'm going to add a drum sequencer first. There we go. I'm going to choose a kit. Maybe I'll choose a 909 here. And then you see um, we have these little These little sounds that we have over here that make you, you know, just listen to the sound before you actually use it. And you can also change the sound if you want to. You can come here on sample and just click over here and change the kick sample. Amazing stuff. I like that kick. I'm going to choose that kick. Okay, there we go. Now we got that done. Now we start making our beat. Then I can just add one here. There we go. Then I just play. Now let me add a snare. Okay, I don't like the sound of that snare. I'm gonna change the sample again. Come here, click on there. I like that one. I also like that one. I like that. Now let's play that back again. Let me add a little bit more of the kick. And what you can do with your drums is that you can change the swing as well. So I'm just going to click here on swing and just lift my swing. And then I'm going to add some hats. And I'm going to add a lot of these hats like that. And I'm going to change the sample of the hat again. That one's perfect. And you can also change the volumes of all these samples and all these sounds. So I'm just going to come here and buy drums. So you can lower your drums if you want to, and you can also raise the volume of your drums. And if you want to extend um, your little clip, you can go ahead and just drag it over and extend it for as long as you like. I can even extend it all the way to five years to make it a bit longer. So then next, what we want to add is we want to add maybe uh, another sound, like maybe a keyboard sound or something like that. So I'm just going to stop this for a second. And then we're going to add a sound. I'm going to add maybe um, a GMS. Okay, this is a demo sound. Let me go into keys. And I'm going to use Electro Rhodes. I think that sounds fine. And then now you get a keyboard that you can play. And then you can draw your notes. So I'm just going to draw a note and I'm just going to drag it. And I'm going to draw another one on top of it. And I'm just going to make sure they align so that I make chords. I'm going to drag that back. Sounds really nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop. So if I wanna copy this clip onto here, I can just click and then I can just say copy and then click again and hold and then paste and then there it is. And then I can come into the second one and I can try change the note. I'm just gonna change the first one and put it up here. And then I just close that. I'm gonna bring that back up. Close there. Bring it back. Sounds amazing. Now let's add a lead. I'm just going to go add maybe a super saw. Go in the leads. Look for something interesting. Let's look for something, something interesting. That sounds nice. I like this lead slider. And what you can do with these sounds is that you can also change how they sound. So you can just go here in the sounds and then you can change the filter. Just lower the cutoff. I know this is a little bit advanced. 
but I'm gonna go and insert some notes. Okay, let me go and edit. And then I want short notes for this sound. So I'm just gonna make short notes. Matter of fact, I want my, I want this sound to be really nice and short. So I'm just gonna pull it back and then I'm just gonna copy paste the clip. Okay, let me just delete that. Copy, paste the clip. Just fill it up here, fill it up there. Copy, paste, copy, paste. And what you can do is that you can also just select everything just like that. And then you can um, paste all of them there. So let me play that back. And just drop that volume down. And if you want to add a bass line, you can also just do the same again. You can just add maybe a transistor bass and then try and find a bass that sounds nice for you. That sounds pretty nice, the default sound. So let's use that. And what's nice about FL Studio is that you can actually record anything you play here. So I can do that. Let me just go into the settings and make sure that I have got a, I have got a count in when I'm recording. So I'm just gonna switch that on so it just doesn't start recording immediately. So I'm gonna press record and I'm gonna start playing. Two, three, go. And then I'm gonna stop that. As you can hear, it's off time. It's not really playing on time. So I'm gonna get inside this and I'm just gonna try and move back. And I'm just gonna come here to the snap and make sure that the snap is on and try and select everything. There we go. And then I'm going to click on snap so that it quantizes. But some of the notes won't be exactly on time. So I'm just going to bring this one back and bring this one back. gonna drop the volume a little bit and again you can change all these sounds and really fine-tune your track to make sure that it sounds you know as desired so if I want to make a little bit edits on the bass line I can change it I can change the cut off There we go. So that's it. That's a basic beat that you can make on your mobile phone. So there you have it guys. So you can use FL Studio Mobile to make yourself some nice background music for your content that you'll be creating. And it's only a hundred Rand and that is very cheap compared to the PC counterpart. That's more expensive, but with the mobile version, you can also get professional grade software and professional grade functionality also in the software. So you can use Caustic as well. And you also have in-app purchases that you can also get, and then you can add on to make it much, much better. So don't forget to check out my channel as well. I have a lot of great content on everything audio on my channel that you can check out. My name is Xdizzle. Thank you so much for having me. I'm gonna check you out soon.
And that's it. I hope you guys found this uh, empowering, educational, and inspiring. Actually, that's the that's what I hope to get out of this video series the most, uh, and probably the thing that I'm most proud of is that so many people have contacted me and have been inspired to be creative. If you have a Galaxy device, you have some of the most powerful content creation devices in your hand, and when I mean all rounder. I really mean it. This video was about music production. The rest of the videos in this series have been about how to produce and edit and film your own videos. If you haven't seen those, please go check those out yourself. Uh, the links uh, to those are in the playlist. It's in the cards over here and in the playlist under this video. I'll see you guys in another one. And if you guys want to tweet this out, please use the hashtag with Galaxy. I want to see what you guys have made and how creative you've been. Again, big shout out to XDizzle for hooking us up and helping us up with that. I'll see you guys in another video. Cheers.